provoking praise. Faith provoking praise part two. In Psalm 22 and verse 3. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. He said, if you want to know where God lives, it's in praise. God operates and manifests himself in the midst of praise of his people. Every time we praise God, you see God manifest in the midst of praise. Now here is an army, well, you don't know what you're missing, not praising God. In Psalm 114, 1 to 7, it said, When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, it said, Judah, that word Judah means praise. Judah means what? That means, Judah means praise. Praise was the central in Israel's dominion. It said, Because of praise, because God dwells in praise. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains keep like. Do you want obstacles to clear without you praying? Praise God. The little hills like lambs. He said, What held the other sea that are fled? Us? The psalmist was asking that Jordan was driven back. You might have skipped like lambs, a little hills like lambs. He said, Tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. You know what God is saying? He said, because God dwells in praise, obstacles give way with us. Is that clear, sir? When you praise, God rise on the wings of praise to manifest. So every time you're praising God, immediately barriers are removed. Barriers are what? And if God is with you, what torments others will clear from you? Whatever torment other people will clear in the name of Jesus. God inhabits the praise of what? So God is in praise. And we know God is omnipotent. Is that true? So that's why what makes praise open an omnipotent force. Because God dwells in praise. So when God dwells in praise and you praise God, you see God manifest through praise. So you see him manifest. That's why every time you praise God, it's God himself coming to do some strange things. I'm saying with authority today, strange things will happen in your life. <laughs> because obstacles can't stand before God. So when you praise God, Obstacle can stand before praise. Is that true? Are you going to say that? Nobody can stand. Can anybody stand before God? So praise is what he does. He rises inside praise. He lives in praise. So when you praise God, you see God himself manifest. And then problems just go away without you killing yourself. Today, all barriers will give way to you. Yeah. Obstacles will clear in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Mountains will skip. Hills will go. Valleys will be sealed. If it's not, if you are the one, say amen. Yeah. So when praise becomes acceptable, God manifests his almightiness in our favor. Praise is the language of faith. The language of what? It works in the toughest situations. Great battles have been fought and won with praise. Praising God, you find that battles are won without sweat. It shall be so. I've talked about how Jehoshaphat and Judah praised God and battles were won. In 2 Chronicles 20, you will be the next to have victory. Yeah. He said, God is fearful in praises. Exodus 50 verse 11. He said, who is like unto thee, O God, amongst the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in what? Fearful in praise. Why did the psalmist say, who is like thee, O Lord, amongst the gods? You know why? You know the reason? Every other God uses music to manifest. You don't know? If you are from Africa especially, when they want to call down demons, they play drums. And when they play drums, you see demonic, every religion that wants to manifest with demonic forces, they use drums. They use what? Even if you see this people from the northern part of Nigeria, they want to use knife to display magic. They will, be, they will play drum. Drum bring both evil, anything you see Satan does is an imitation of the original. Just like God manifests through praise, Satan manifests through their music. Listen, listen. You don't understand. That's what I say. Who is like among the gods, they can manifest, but amongst them, no one's like you. You are fearful in praise, doing what? 
Others may not do wonders, but today God will do wonders in your life. Amen. Now listen, if you understand praise, you will never play with praise. Every time God wants to manifest is through music. Through what? Through music. Satan also manifests through what? Music. Now, how many of you have gone to your village where they play masquerade? Have, even if you have not gone, have you seen masquerade in your life before? Even abroad, they play, they do demonic things. They remove their clothes. In London, all people are almost naked. It's like a festival. You see, demonic spirits will move with them. Are you hearing me now? Now, every, what you call carnival is a spiritual movement of the Satan. Because you see music. They be, yeah, yeah, yeah. At that time, demons are moving with them. Heavy demons are moving. You see some people move at the edge of a roof. It's not normal. You see a master moving at the edge of what? Satan is moving with him. And that is manifesting the demonic spirits. You see people play masquerade and they jump on top. Take stick, move. You think it's normal? No. Now, they are displeased. That's why they have said, who is like unto thee, the Exodus Moses? Amongst the gods, even if they manifest, no one is like you. You are too fearful when you come. You will do wonders when other gods cannot do wonders. Are you getting me? Whatever you see Satan does is imitating God. How many want to see the wonders of God? Do you want to see the wonders of God? Yes, Today, God will make a wonder to your world. Yes, Praise does not cost much, but accomplishes more. Your miracle is in the power of praise. Your miracle is the power of what? He said, God is fearful in praises. Doing Hey, listen. When you praise God, you steer him to manifest. I want two persons who have physical pains to come. You are going to see what I'm teaching. Two persons who have pains. If you don't know how to dance, don't come home. If you are the type that will be ashamed of dancing. No, no other person with pain? Come. Come now, madam. Okay, you stand here. Young lady, join her. God is fearful of what? Where is your own pain? On your leg. You, where is your pain? Two of your legs. <laughs> God knows why I brought two legs. <laughs> now listen, I'm going to tell you what praise does. Don't get a microphone. Please, instrumentalist. Now, one person will dance for now. The other person don't dance. God will move on praise. Listen. You are dancing to move God to touch your leg. That's what you'll be picturing. You, young lady, don't dance. Just watch her. I see you're watching everybody. You'll see what will happen. God manifests through earth. You dance so oh, eh? well, well. You don't dance for now. Don't dance. Just for this transition. Play music. Match, match that leg. Match it. Match leg. Go shock. Match the leg where they pain you. Match them. What do you have? What do you have, madam? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Is it a pain you? They don't know how to dance. You young lady? <laughs> now, dance with understanding. When you're dancing, when you're dancing, dance, say, God, touch my leg. Touch my what? Stand, madam. Stand. Dance with the understanding. God, touch my... Go ahead. Shout hallelujah. Press your leg, you'll be shocked. No pain? Yes. No pain? Yes. Now listen, it's good for me to teach. She danced without understanding. She danced with understanding. 
So two of you can be in church and not get the same result. I'm sure the pain of this one may be higher. This one danced with what? She said, God, I'm praising you. Touch my leg. This one is dancing just to entertain us. So it depends on where you focus on. Two of them have pains. Why did God touch this one? Did not touch the other one. So it depends on understanding. I'm not the one who will determine your miracle. And if this woman not dance with understanding, God will heal her. It's not, it's not a partial God. But she was just dancing for dancing. Sake. This one said, God, touch my leg. Do you understand it? He moves on the wings of praise. He said, God, he abyss the praise of his people. So it's inside the praise, waiting for you to tap to the virtue of what he carries. It's left for you to be able to know how to connect with the power. Is that true? The two of them illustrate what will happen now. To everybody who comes in church, doesn't mean you get a miracle. You can be seated. Be making... Depends on how you focus and understand. Madam, when we want to praise the second one, no be me, no be me go heal you. No, no look me like this. Let me, let me the heal. When we, madam, when it is time to praise, focus on God and say, God, touch me like the lady, young lady. Focus on God. You focus on God. Don't focus on David. Be me. I'm not the healer. You too. Are you hearing me now? Okay. Thank God say it happened before now. When you engage in heartfelt, hard work, praise, you provoke God's intervention to bring to bear what you cannot do for yourself. <laughs> heartfelt work, make sure your heart is involved. You are not all dancing because you came to, people have been dancing since church started. Do it with what? In Psalm 47, verse 7, say, praise ye with understanding. Don't just praise because these two people are enough for me to preach the sermon. That you dance does not mean God will do a miracle. It is dancing with a focus. Dancing with the understanding. Dancing with a target. Say, Lord, do something in my life. We are not just doing religious things. Are you hearing me now? Glory to God. Now, let me tell you in the Bible, I'll use the scriptures to, to explain what I mean. There were so many persons in prison in Acts chapter 16. There were two persons who were the only ones that sang. These two persons, their names is Paul and Silas. In Acts chapter 16 and verse 25, and at midnight, at what? Now, midnight connotes when you are at the crossroad of life. Connotes what? There are some places your midnight is, you don't, you, midnight does not mean darkness. It means also when you are at the crossroad. You just look at your life. Some of you are the midnight of no naira. You go to a bank, you stay from morning to night for 2,000. That's your midnight. That's your what? 2000. One of my senior cousins called me from the bank. I said, ah, I won't call his name because he's a very funny character. He said, Papa, at the bank, I said, how much you want to call it? He said, no, just 5000 now. I said, 5000 now in the bank. He said, eh, 5000. 5000 are big money. Home. And I call his name. He's a very funny, funny character. Very funny character. Mama knows him. Two of them agree. When they came to my wife, he said, this family life. You take some, take bro our brother, or oh, take some to give us some. <laughs> He's a big clown. He looked at her and said, mama, the mama, family life. You chop your own, we chop our own. <laughs> <laughs> He's a clown. He speaks English upside down. <laughs> so I said, ah, you are there. I said, yeah, come. Now make I find you smart. And he said, yes, Papa, now make I call you now. <laughs> Because he was calling me non nonstop. So I called him. I said, ah, What is the matter you're calling me like this? He said, ah, Papa, they bank. Oh. This, uh, this bank is not going to give me anything. They don't, they don't, I said, How much? Now, five times. I said, Come, my bag. We never reach like that. <laughs> Come, make I find you smart. Eh? And I find him. He was very happy. 
What's his business? He said, no, come visit me. I said, ah, visit you for your street. He said, come, now make everybody know, say, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> As if I come to a town, the old town they will not enter. He said, just come. He gave me the house address. He told me, I said, I come to a town. He goes, handle the crowd. <laughs> we are just laughing over it. Eh? Now, at midnight, midnight connotes when you are at the crossroad. You are the what? You know, some of you, you are at midnight. You look at your life and say, what is this? What, where am I going from here? Life has been so terrible. But that midnight will turn to a testimony. At midnight, look at the Bible, verse 25. Paul and Silas prayed. If you look at it, there's a command there. Some of you, you agree with me, you have fasted, you have prayed. You have... You've done the three days fasting and prayer. And sang praises unto God. You don't sing praises for entertainment. You're praising to God. And the prisoners did what? Don't be ashamed of people hearing your praise. He said, and prisoners heard them. It's not the kind of place where you are ashamed of anybody hearing you. It's a place where you are, you are not bothered about the next person. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake. Why did the earth shake? He said, the Lord reigned, let the earth tremble. At that time, God manifested. Now hear this, in case you don't understand, please. God is with you, but he does not manifest unto you, please. He said, lo, I am with you. Does not mean he will manifest. It will only manifest when you stir him up through praise. Are you going to say now? As you praise him, he will, he will say, My son, my daughter, you're here. I'm coming. I'm going to do what I will do. So Paul understood the mystery of praise. He understood what praise can do. So immediately Paul said, Silas, we have prayed. You know, Paul was a man of deep revelation. He said, Silas, we have prayed, and this thing is not getting much result. Let's switch over. When you pray, God answers. When you praise, God manifests. Not the same. Answering phone call and coming in person, are they the same? When you pray, is phone call answer. When you praise, is coming in person. I hear him now. Somebody answering your call and somebody coming. Is it the same? Prayer, he answers you. Praise, he responds in person. So here. And suddenly, today, there will be a sudden miracle for someone. So the foundations of the priest were what? Shaking. And immediately, not after, all the doors were what? Take note. All the doors. All doors. So praise opens doors supernaturally. Oh, you know, they were inside prison. Inside what? Paul, being a very stubborn man before he became born again, the jailers must have said, this man used to be a hard man. Put him inside, inside. Quickly inside. So they must have locked the first gate for the doors to be open means that it was not one gate. The law first gate, second gate, then put him inside like a condemned criminal. Then Paul praised God. The doors did like So you don't need more than one praise for all your doors have been sure to be open. Doors of breakthroughs, doors of favor, doors of fruitfulness, doors of promotion. Every door that was shut will be open by this place today. Yeah. Are you expecting doors to be open? Yeah. I mean, expect doors to be open. Now, why you expect? Because if you don't expect it, you get two of them dance, but one was expecting healing. One was not expecting healing. One was not looking up to me instead of he expecting God to heal. That's how it is. If you expect nothing in such place, you get nothing. If you saw it to dance, then go home. You can dance in your house. We are here for business. We are here for what? I tell singers, don't sing to entertain God. He has enough entertainment in heaven. We are praising God for him to what? Intervene in our affairs. If it's entertainment, they entertain him 24-7. So you are, not, you are not entertaining God here. There's no entertainment you do more than the ones angels are doing and the saints in heaven. So we are not for, in church for entertainment. We are here for what? Business. Oh God, intervene. 
vain in my affairs. Are you getting me, sir? And immediately all the doors were what? And everyone's bands were loose. You know, they are, they are, the chains on them. Don't be, <laughs> everywhere you have been held bound by this praise, you'll be loose in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout it loud, amen. amen. That's why you need to praise with understanding. So, in case you don't know what you want, look at your life. Lord, open my doors. Two, let the chains on my life be broken. Then you get to the next one. Praise provokes divine multiplication. Praise provokes what? When you praise God, each one know what you want to. Divine multiplication is provoked via praise by praise. Psalm 67. Let, from, from verse 3, let the people praise your God and let all the people praise thee. Verse 4, down to 7. And oh, let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt joy the people righteously and govern the nations upon the earth. Let the people praise your God, let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield what? And what? God, even our God shall what? And all the ends of the earth shall fear him. God shall bless and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Shout hallelujah. The earth shall yield what? I increase. Let me tell you this. Until you praise, the earth will never yield an increase. Jesus lifted up his hands with five loaves and two fishes and gave thanks and there was supernatural multiplication. The moment he lifted his hands and said, Father, I heavens open. Your own heavens will open. Your own heavens will open. Every time praise precedes what you're asking God for, heavens respond. He said, Father, I thank you. In the, at the tomb of Lazarus, Father, I thank you. Everything I answer to him. Today, this praise will make the month of March to be your best month. Amen. Shout aloud, amen. amen. Now listen. You can read scriptures, study something, and have no deep understanding. Last night, God gave me, I know it, but the revelation came from Habakkuk chapter 3, 17 to 19. I've known that scripture, I've studied it, and read it, but light came from scriptures. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall the fruit be in the vines, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. That is your life. Look as if nothing is working. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will join in the God of my worth, salvation. The Lord is my strength, and make my feet at the highest feet, and make me walk upon my high places. Now, what is that scripture saying? It said, although life may look as if nothing is working, I look as if I have nothing to show for it. It is when I praise Him then things will turn. I come again. Although Lazarus was in the grave, as if he will never rise. Although it looks as if he will never, he has decayed. And this is when Jesus said, Father, I thank you. Then he came forth. I don't understand. Although if you look at your life, no job, no husband, no wife, nothing to show, then you praise God. It is then that situation that looks as if it's hopeless will turn. I don't understand what God is saying. You went for admission, they say no admission. They say admission closed, school, no admission. You apply for school, no scholarship. Although everything looked hopeless, as I praise God, you would then turn my story around. That's what that scripture is saying. So your supernatural promotion comes from where? Praise. From where? It brings promotion. It took David from nowhere to the palace. The next person that will hear the palace shall be you. Yeah. That amen is for you. Yeah. As you blow the trumpet at the beginning of this month, that is the same way God will announce you to your world beginning from now. Yeah. Now, what have I said? First one I said, the doors be what? Open. Number two, chairs be broken. Number three, supernatural multiplication. And number four, things to turn around. Which, uh, which one do you want? Rise to your feet. Expect your own miracle as we praise God now.
shout hallelujah. Look at the different points and the areas you want. Even if I didn't mention your area, just target that area. I say, Lord, by this praise, make this happen in my life and for the church. First, before you go ahead, in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and open your mouth and say it the way you want it. Look at the screen and know what you want. It is what you say you get. Prophesy over your life. In Jesus' mighty name, it is done. It is done. In the name of Jesus.